Good morning everybody. Ibrahim is back and now we are going to assemble the breeding flocks for the blue and black mottled Ancona bantams. So, the rose comb rooster, what I really like about him is his tail. Nice broad tail, very long. It also has a nice curving. His color is great too. Nice black with a green shine. The mottling is good, but as you can see in the saddle and in his tail there, there isn't a lot of mottles. His neck and his wings are very good. I don't know about his chest. Well marked. Yeah. It's not that the per the, the the models are a little bit small, right? Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at his head. I'm not really an expert of the rose combs, so Abraham, you tell me. Is this a good rose comb? Well, I think it depends about what breed we are speaking. When it comes to wine dots, you don't want that much sharpie points on a, on a rose comb. And a rose comb should follow the the skull. In this case, I think the rose comb is a little bit pointed, a little bit pointed upwards. Oh yeah, and a little bit to the side. And a little bit is to the side as well. Mean, yeah. yeah. So you want to have it straight, following the skull of the of the rooster. Yeah. With a little bit less. In Dutch, we call it work. Work <laughs> for the. I think. Uh, the grooves the, uh, it should be smoother, right? Exactly, right. smoother. A little yeah. bit less relief. But I also see when he's eating or just walking around in his coop is that it on one side it blurs his, or it restricts his vision. Because as you can see the comb is going a little bit from some angles you can't see or he can't see what's in front of him. So it's definitely too know. big. His eye color is good. Nice orange. His wattles are actually very good. Nice size, a good shape. The color of his beak is good. It's yellow, a little bit black markings. His earlobes are white. With some red in it, but he came from a cross with uh, Sumatras. So, definitely not bad. His leg color, his legs actually have a lot of black markings. And maybe a little bit too much because it loses the contrast with the yellow. But for a rooster of three years, it's still quite yellow, so that's a good thing. But as you can see, his legs aren't that long, they're even shorter than my hands. And you can't even see his thighs because they are that short. So I think we can definitely use him, and I already have four chicks. I'm going to hatch some more. The next rooster is actually a son of the other rooster that I also got with the rose comb rooster. What I really like about him is his color. His tail. His tail is a little bit short, but I do like the broadness of his tail and also the curving. Of his sickles, sickle feathers. He also has a very good green shine. With the mottling in his wings is also very good. No completely white feathers. Same for the other side. His chest is better than the rose comb. I really like the markings in his chest. His comb is actually, well, it's quite bad. Because as you can see, we have an incision at the back of his comb. And the two parts also have another incision. That's also a little bit falling to one side. Which is something you don't want in the roosters. Yes.
The eye color is very good. It's a nice bright orange. His wattles are actually also very good. Nice long, a good shape. His earlobes, also some red in it. And they are a little bit more yellowish. Because also, I, I really like the color. It's also bright yellow. He's a rooster from last year. As you can see, his spurs are still a little bit small. Sadly, I wasn't able to give him a ring. He also has some black spots and markings in his legs. But it's not that sharply defined. The length of his legs is much better than the other roosters. Mm -hmm. It's actually yeah, it's just longer than my hands. That's a very good trait. When it comes to type, he looks more athletic rather than heavy. Yeah, that's, that's indeed uh, true. He's also quite small, as you can see. His back is nice horizontal, but I can feel that his tail is going a little bit... Up. But it's not, it's not that bad. But he still has a little bit the, the English type where the tail goes way up. Ideally, you want to have a longer back or not? For me, the length of his back is good. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's, it's actually... But what I would prefer on this rooster is that the length of his tail is longer. <laughs> he does have some muttles in his saddle. That's a good thing. Also in his tail. Even in his sickle feathers. So we can definitely use him. But once I have a rock, uh, once I have a son with a better comb, he can go. So. The next rooster over here is the second generation out of the Livorno Bantam process. He has a yellow ring, so that means he's a son of the Livorno Bantam hens. I actually didn't kept any offspring of the, the rooster. Also didn't have a lot of them. What I definitely like about him is his type. Also a nice long uh, back. A broad tail and it's also very long. With a nice curving in his sickle feathers. What he does lack is like the sharpness of his mottling. The models are very small. He does have two completely white feathers in his wings. There are almost three actually. This is of course something you don't want in an Ancona Bantam. Also more to his body. It's not that sharp, not that defined. The other side of the wing? Yeah, more or less the, the same thing. The other side is also the same. Yeah. You could say it's like a very big white model. Mm. But there is one feather that is like oh, almost completely white. But for a second generation, he's, he's okay, right? Definitely. The mottling is going all the way to the pants, right before his leg, right on top of his legs. You have a mottling as well. I see some mottling in the tail. Yeah, there's some mottling in the tail. Too. A little bit in the in the, the saddle. saddle. saddle Not that much. Um, in his neck. Not that much, but it's something. Some people actually prefer a more darker rooster. How is the chest when it comes to markings? Let me take a look at his chest. It's actually not that bad, right? Mm, not at all. But also not that sharp. You can see that the, the black and the white is like fading into each other. Like should be more distinguished. Yeah, you should have like a sharper line or a sharper. The length of his legs is 
very good. You can really see his thighs also when he walks around. The color of his legs is a little bit disappointing, I would say. It's a little bit whitish, but it's still yellow. It's also from last year. I really like this head. What I would want to change is the depth of the incisions in his comb. It should be a little bit deeper. Apart from that, the overall shape is very good. The beak is a lot darker than the previous ones. Yeah, there's a lot more dark markings. But it's yellow. Mm. And in the Akona breed, it's allowed to have some black in the beak. Because it's also typical for this color, for the black mottled. His wattles are very good. Of course, he got into a fight and he lost a little bit, a little piece. But I really like the shape and the length of his bottles. The earlobes also have some red in them, but they are very white, not that yellow as in the previous one. But as you can see, it might correlate with the leg color, which is also white. Apart from that, I really like him, but I haven't got a single chip of him. So later in the video, we'll have to decide which hands we are going to put against him. His eye color is orange, and that's how it should be in an Ancona Panther. No remarks there. Next we have my only blue mottled rooster. And he's also the father of the previous rooster we've seen. I believe he's also the smallest I have, at least in the single combs. When we look at his head, he has a very big comb, very big wattles. And that's actually something I really like. What I don't like about this comb is the, is the front of the comb. It has like two incisions that shouldn't be there. Apart from that, this comb is actually very great. As you can see, this comb heel at the end. It's nice and round, with no incisions at all. So that's actually perfect. The waddles are great too. Nice, long, a good shape. So far as I can see, he's not that much of a fighter. The flesh of his waddles is intact. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's true. The beak? The beak is also good. Yellow color with some blackish markings in it. His earlobes are white. But yeah, because of packing old age. They look a little bit dirty. His eye color is nice orange. Maybe a little bit pale, but I'm not that perfectionist. Uh, so I definitely don't mind. And it also might have something to do with the blue color. Maybe it has some effect on the eye color too. I don't mm. know. I like the length of his back, but what I don't like is the length of his tail. It's very short. It's almost just as short as my hand. What we can see is that every feather in the saddle and in the tail is a nicely, sharply defined model. So in terms of markings, this is definitely one of my best roosters. The tail is also quite broad, which might not be seen so good when I'm holding him, but You have to say when he gets older, he gets like this, yeah, this goldish rustiness. Yeah, some rustiness. And in his neck, it's almost like yellow or silver. But I see markings even in his neck. Yeah, almost, which is a good thing. Almost every feather has a white mottle. Also the back. Also in his back, at the top, at the sides. The saddle. And in his pants, is he well marked in his pants, right above the legs? What? 
maybe a little white when it, it comes down to his pants. Not oh, too, yeah. too big yeah, of yeah. pearls right there. The muscles on his side and on his back are quite big, yeah. Even in the chest I see quite big <laughs> mottling. Mottles are quite big, yeah. For a chest you might prefer some smaller mottles. But I actually like this. Of course in a blue mottled uh, Kona Bantam the contrast between grey and white is of course less. So you might be better off with some smaller mottles. Because then you will have more contrast. Now this chest appears to be yeah, white, but actually it's very good. Or the markers are actually very good. A little bit lower below his chin. The blue is a little bit darker and the mottles are a little bit smaller. And that gives off a better contrast and a nicer appearance overall. Mm. So I really like this rooster. I also like the yeah the blue color on itself. As you both know, blue is not really an easy color mm -hmm. because it can turn out very dark or in most cases at least here in Belgium, it's usually too too white, too too light as a color. Too light as a color, yeah. There's a big difference between the blue on his chest and in his wings, and the blue in his tail and in his neck. Yeah, his tail is quite dark. It's almost it's actually almost black. When you look very close, you can see a green shine even. So that's something you might not want. Blue and Kona Bantams are more rare than the <laughs> black ones. When you're breeding Blue Mottled and Kona Bantams, you don't want to be too much of a perfectionist because you will probably never breed the perfect Blue Mottled and Kona Bantam. You only have to do it because you like the color of itself. <laughs> now let's take a look at his wings. The front of his wings, so actually his shoulders. Oh, I really like that color. For me that's the perfect blue. The models are also very sharp, nicely defined. But when we go further in his wings, the, the, rust, the rust comes back. And again, some plain white feathers. Yeah. Quite a lot actually. One, two, three, four. Here also, one or two. That's something I don't really like about him. His wings are quite wide. It should be darker. But as you can see, his son didn't have it, so we can definitely breed some good offspring. His other wing is better. Mm. It's not really... We have one white feather. Apart from that, we have just big mottles. Not completely white. But of course, when he closes his wing, that's more the appearance of a uh, too too white. His leg color is yellow, but it's a little bit pale. Of course, he's already two years old. It does have some black markings in it, not that sharply defined, but that's still a problem. And actually, all my Kona bantams. I would love to get my Kona bantam with the perfect leg color and try to get it into my lines. We'll have to work with what we got right now. Overall and in general, I think he's a little bit more heavier than the previous ones. Yeah, he shows a little bit more chest, a little bit broader in the back. But I believe if his tail would have been longer, the contrast would be better. He would have appeared to be as small or as yeah, he would have narrow to be as the other ones. Narrow, yeah. He looks like he's more compact, more... Yeah, it's also something from his uh, great ancestors, <laughs> the English and Kona Bantams. It's actually, fun fact, and Kona Bantams are actually created in the UK, and not in Italy, where the standard Ancona comes from. 
and that's why we have these short tails they are usually quite upright and the big combs and wattles next rooster this one, this is one from the original line that I started with and as you can see he's very big because from the very beginning I started with a uh, standard hand and the bantam rooster so he's definitely an offspring of the standard hand and I believe he's an F2 or an F3 I'm not quite sure the first thing you might notice is that his markings are very good he has a model on every feather Neck. Yeah. It's it's per yeah, it's almost perfect, right? <coughs> what I do notice is that his models are a little bit yellowish. I don't know what that sunlight. Is the that. Sunlight? Maybe from the sunlight, yeah? That might explain why his shoulders are more white. Or it's also the rust that's coming through. Just because of his black and his green shine you don't see the rust. But you do see it in, his, in the models. Have you witnessed that the, the, the modeling is becoming bigger when he became older of age? Or did it stay no. or remained more or less the same? In this rooster it stayed the same. You're true and a lot of breeds the models get bigger and the, chi and the chickens get older but in Ancona bantams it doesn't if you have an Ancona bantam that does get bigger models it's better not to breed with it because it's not uh, a trait of the breed but he actually no his models don't, don't get bigger when he ages but that's also a very good trait what I don't like about him is the length of his feathers. As you can see in his saddle, it barely covers his, his tail. And it also, yeah, it almost doesn't cover his, his wing feathers too. But once again, the markings are great. They even go until the tips of his tail feathers. Nice green shine. Still, it's very upright. Of course, you can't see it when uh, I'm holding him. But I believe when he's walking, it's something like this. He does have a broad tail. So that's a good thing. But it's way too upright. It's almost in an angle of 90 degrees. As you can see, his flight feathers in his wings. They aren't that sharply defined the models, right? Mm, it's true. They are, it's a little bit faded into the black, or the black fades a little bit into the white. Luckily no completely white feathers as far as I can see. While more in the shoulder, the definition is a little bit be better. Mm -hmm. But here you can see that the black... You see in the shoulders, the modeling is better. But there is still some black fading into the white. As I know where I came from, it's definitely a very good rooster. Now when we take a look at his chest, his chest is very good, right? I also like to compare it with uh, the stars. The skyline filled with stars. <laughs> <laughs> I like to compare it with the star heaven. But the models are quite defined, and they, also, they have a, an almost diamond shape, as you could say. On the side of his body, it's very good, right? The mottling. Maybe also a little bit of the black that is coming into the white tip of the feather, but yeah. this bird is so equally divided when it comes down to his mottling. And the modeling is, I think, of a perfect size. Yeah, you have a nice contrast with the black, and the models don't overlap. 
the, the overall image is, is really yeah. astonishing in this bird. Very typical for the Ancona breed. The length of his legs is, is quite good. It might be, or I would prefer it a little bit longer. <laughs> That's strange, he, he has no feathers uh, on this side. Might have gotten into a fight. Yeah, or from catching him. <laughs> also possible. Black color is yellow, it's a little bit pale, but that also might have to do with his old age. I believe he's, he's three or four years old now, as you can see at the, at the length of his purse. He does have some black markings in his legs, which is good. It's not that sharply defined as it should be. But I don't really worry about that. I also see this pink line in his, uh, in his legs. Over here? Yes, that should be a, a sign of vitality. It's yeah. A, it's something you want in a bird. A lot of people say that. But I also noticed that it got redder when we were chasing him to try to catch him. Huh. So it maybe has something to do with blood flow. Yeah, I think it's indeed uh, his blood flow. His comb is very big. But he stands upright, so that's a good thing. His incisions are good, the heel is also very good. I also like his wattles, but as you can see, he got into a lot of fights. There's not really much left, especially on his right side. It's a bit of a shame, but he also has no rings, so we wouldn't be able to show him even if we wanted to. His earlobes are white, with some red in it. This might also cost you some points at a show. His eye color is orange. But it does have some yellow and some more reddish parts in it. The last rooster we are going to discuss is actually a brother of the blue mottled one. So he also came from a new rooster that I got from a fellow breeder. What I like about him is that he has a lot of feathers. He has a he has a rich plumage. So when we look at the mottling in his neck or even in, the, in, the, in his entire body, he does lack some mottles. The mottles are quite small. And some feathers also don't have mottles at all. But once again, some breeders prefer this type of mottling in a rooster. I don't really prefer it, but he already has more models than his father, so that's a good thing. When we look at his saddle, it's actually not that bad. Almost every feather has a model, and in, and in the saddle the model should be small. His tail is also not that long. But even at the, in the tips of his uh, single feathers, he does have a mottle. He has a nice green shine. Same goes for his, as his brother. He does have some almost completely white feathers. And the black also fades into the white. I'd say this is maybe a little too much white in the wing. Yeah, especially in the, the, outer, the outer edge. Which you don't see when it closes this wing. But of course, when you open it, you do see it. The feathers over here, so between the shoulder and the flight feathers, they are actually quite good in, in uh, markings. Maybe even a little bit better than the previous rooster. With lesser black fading into the white. But on his shoulder, he almost has no mottles. In the beginning of his shoulder he does, but it's more chaotic. Not that not the scar not the star heaven we would prefer. When we look at his side, there's also not a lot of mottling and the, the size of the mottles are different, which gives off uh, a different contrast. 
and not that much of a nice total picture you would say. But from where I stand the white really looks white. I, just, I see no black going through all the way into the model. Yeah, over here it does. Yeah. Here it's more... Only, the white's only on the tip of his feathers. It's almost like a powderish, then more a mottle. When we look at his chest, he almost has no mottles at all. So that's something we definitely need to look for in his offspring. We of course want a rooster with uh, a lot of mottles in his chest. Not too big, of course, but a better division of the yeah. modeling. This, the length of his legs is quite short. As you can see, also his feathers cover his legs. Even the part that doesn't have feathers on it. Which is, of course, something you don't want in an Ancona bath. The color of his legs is yellow, but also a little bit pale. But that also comes that is quite related to the first Ancona Bantams I originally started with. Or the standard hen that had completely white legs. What I really like about this rooster is his head. His comb is nice and straight. It doesn't fall to one side, it folds over. Nice big wattles, something I really like. So far not too many fights, however maybe here <laughs> he lost a piece, but Xenopes are white, some red in it, but maybe also because of old age. His eye color is orange, but it's a little bit pale, it's not that bright reddish orange as in the previous roosters. His beak is nice and yellow with some black and brown, with some black markings. But I really like the shape of his comb. His incisions are very good. His comb heel is good. The overall shape of his comb, the size. And that's something I really want to preserve in my in the offspring.